Hello, how are you? I don't know. I don't know why I asked that because I know you won't respond right now, but uh, let me know how you're doing in the comments below. How about that? It is around 620. It is Monday. What is it? August 31st and I am at a stop sign and there's a guy staring at me so I'm gonna go. But I am going to take you along for the day for a day in the life of and uh, so yeah come along with me today. All right, so I'm in my classroom, um, and today is going to be a super fun day because I'm gonna do like a small classroom transformation, um, COVID style, I guess is what you would call it. Um, but I did wanna show you, and it's already coming off my wall. Do you guys have that problem too, where you put something up and then, I don't know if I can see, oh, it's so high, see? It's like popping off the wall, but that's okay. I'll fix it. But it's our read acronym and it's just a close reading strategy that we came up with as a whole school. So fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade use the read acronym and they use it to help them analyze the text, annotate, um, and just read it closely. So in order to introduce that to them, cause this is new for fifth grade, um, I thought I would kind of switch things up and make it a little bit more fun. And so I am going to, um, and I only purchased a few things for it. So it's a small room transformation and you can still do that even with COVID. Um, but let me show you what I got. Okay, so I did find, cause all the teacher stuff at the Target Dollar Spot um, was going away because they were putting fall things out. And so I found the pencil pillow for five bucks and um, I've actually been looking for this for a few years now. So I'm gonna put this over here and no, the kids do not use the pillows yet or the carpet um, until it's safe to do so. But it's just there for a comfy, homey, aesthetic feeling. So I'm gonna put that there. And um, I got this from a parent who got it off my Amazon wish list. It's Brain Game, so I'm gonna put that um, back there on my early finishers or morning, uh, work. So that's really cool. Okay. <laughs> I finally found this. Uh, comment below if you still have an easy grader because I got this at a garage sale, oh gosh, seven years ago and I lost it. And I was, <laughs> I was like, I need my easy grader. It's so fast and easy. Um, so I found it. And then... So for my classroom transformation, we're gonna be reading a passage um, that we're gonna use the read acronym for, and it's about the history of pizza. So I thought it would be fun to put tablecloths on our tables, and I couldn't find the red and white like gingham, um, so I just got the red and white, like different red and white um, tablecloths. So I'm gonna put that up during planning, and then I got some of these cute file folders in the teacher spot. Don't make me use my red pen. I actually don't ever use red pen, but I thought that was pretty funny. It has uh, like pencils, supplies, apples, books, real cute for three bucks. And they're real sturdy. So I'm gonna put that cause I've been using that as my file folder. Um, so yeah. Okay, so as all the kids come in today, I'm gonna have the tablecloths on their tables, and then this is gonna be at their seat. I just made this in Google Google Slides. It's not perfect, but um, I just thought it would be cute to put the acronym on a pizza and have the different parts of our close reading strategy on there. So every kid's gonna get one of these, and then this is their passage, and I'll link this below, but this was free on TPT. 
Um, so it has the passage, but we go over the first read, what do we do, second read. The nice thing about this though, is it goes through um, the first read, the second read, and then the third read, which is really cool. Um, so I did make a PowerPoint um, to where it's like a background of a pizzeria and there's some Italian music and with the tablecloths and this and I did have a parent donate 10 uh, boxes of pizza, not like actual pizza, but pizza boxes from a restaurant and so that'll be delivered today so I'm going to kind of set them up around the room as well. All right guys, so it is my planning and I am going to be setting up the mini transformation. Um, I'm going to show you, I did get some pizza boxes and I just put in there, um, the, which is kind of small, um, the read acronym. So I'm going to set up the room. Again, this is just a cheap, um, honestly, it costs like seven bucks because I bought the uh, tablecloths and then the boxes were delivered and then I'm gonna put the papers on their desk. So it's not like the best classroom transformation, but anything is better than just sitting and reading a worksheet. It kind of gives it a little bit of uh, zhuzh. I think a lot of people are afraid to do classroom transformations because they think it, it's going to cost too much or be too much to handle and do with the amount of time that we have. Um, I will say that um, I probably will never work at Little Caesars because I would be fired within the first day. Guys, look at this pizza box. I'm doing the best I can because I have an IEP to get to in like two minutes. So hashtag teacher life. Even if you had tablecloths or pizza boxes, um, it adds spark to your lesson and it gets them excited because it's something different. So even if you do something small, don't feel like it has to be like, oh my goodness, a thousand dollars and every wall has to be a different, you know, backdrop and you have to have all these different props something as small as this can just change it up and get them excited about what you're learning because honestly just reading a passage is not the funnest thing so I thought with the topic of pizza and then changing the room up a little bit would add some excitement and engagement so I'm excited about that and uh, I will say Last week was probably one of the hardest weeks that I've had in teaching in a long time. I know last year, October was a really hard month for me, but this year, and you guys know, it is just another level of, of stress. I have not cried that much in a very long time. I broke out into like <gasps> that kind of tears, you know, the way you can't catch your breath um, in front of my principal with my whole team and the nurse. Um, I was like hyperventilating because I was a having a panic panic attack and then B um, it was just so stressful and overwhelming and I just feel like I'm trying to juggle all of these things and things are bound to fall on the floor and we thankfully our team and our staff they're, they're good at just giving grace and um, I'm learning that about myself to give people grace because gosh in this time we need that more than ever. And so if you are in the same boat and you are overwhelmed and stressed and just feel like you can't do it anymore, you are not alone. <sighs> but these kids and days like today just remind me why I'm here and what I love to do. And uh, yeah, it sucks and it's hard, um, but you're not alone. All right, guys, it's the end of the day and I am just looking over um, my to-do list for today. And I wanted to show you something really sweet I got from a student that keeps leaving me sticky notes and I cannot for the life of me figure out who it is because they're there just every morning and I usually get here super early and they're here every morning and I don't know how. But this one just spoke to me um, because I just, I really needed to hear it. And so it says, 
change the world uh, by being yourself. So if you needed to hear that today too, from the mouths of babes. Um, so if you're the student that keeps leaving me notes, you are the best. Um, so I am uh, just kind of going over what we did today. We did our acronym READ, which is the close reading strategy strategy that we have. Hold on, there's soccer practice right outside my door. I didn't show you my outfit of the day. Um, I, <laughs> my friend, she loves um, wearing, you know, whenever we can wear jeans to work. Um, to me, jeans are not as comfortable unless you can prove me wrong and send me a pair of jeans that go up to here so it sucks me in and I'm not doing this all day. Um, but I love wearing comfy professional wear. Um, but honestly, this is just a, a very comfy, stretchy leopard shirt from Old Navy. And then I just have a long uh, maxi skirt uh, with it. And yeah, pretty easy outfit and very comfy. Um, but I feel like I always look like a hot mess at the end of the day. Anybody else? Sweaty hot mess. <laughs> Just me? Okay, good. Um, so, like I said before, we did our close reading strategy, and then we did it with this history of pizza passage, and we didn't get to finish it. Um, we'll finish it hopefully later, but it went really good. We got to really um, talk about how we close read and what's the best way to analyze a text, and we talked about what the word annotate means. And then tomorrow we're gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna be the history of the chocolate chip cookie. And I have some amazing parents. I literally, like the back of my desk is filled with chocolate chip cookies because I'm gonna give one to every student. Um, I think I might have enough for two per student. So they're really excited about that. So we're gonna use that tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to assess them with a cold read. Um, and they are, are you squitting me? And so they're gonna read the passage and do all the strategies that we've been learning and then answer the questions there. I found all of these on TPT for free. I will link them below because if you teach ELA or reading, um, teaching them how to close read and analyze a text and dig deeper is super helpful. It's not sticking back in there. Um, at our school, our principals do surprise observations, so they don't let you know beforehand, which at first I was like, <laughs> what? I actually like it because, excuse me, um, I'm not stressing about it and, you know, thinking the night before, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what do I need to do? Um, and it's... Landon and Carlo to the front office. Anyways, he came in and... I immediately started sweating. Does anybody sweat when they get nervous? <laughs> I do. And, uh, but I thought it was a good lesson for him to observe. And so I'm always interested to see what he thinks I could work on. Um, because last time I had my evaluation with him, he gave me some amazing things to work on. And so hopefully I applied them to this lesson and, um, we can talk about some more constructive criticism. Um, maybe not criticism, but things I need to work on as a professional, because if I want my kids to grow and learn, I want to do the same thing for myself. So yeah, good old surprise observation. Comment below and let me know, do you get surprise observed or do you have planned observations? Let me know below. So before I go, I need to um, work on our behavior logs and every teacher has a binder and they travel with the class and so like this binder will stay with my class all day and so if we have an issue or something we need to let the other teachers know with a student then we write it in here um the one that i made i'll show you a blank page um is this and i'm gonna fix it um 
because we added some things that we need to add to. But basically it just talks about like um, what their behavior was, what consequence and notes that we had. And so um, I'm gonna make some changes and then show you what we, we came up with. But other than that, I think that's my only electricity went out. What is it with me vlogging and the electricity goes out? God, are you trying to tell me something? Right. So I just finished the behavior log and we changed it to, um, the kids are actually going to uh, put their name at the top and then their behavior with the date. And then the teacher will decide what consequences they have and then our little notes. And so the student, this will be their paper, but it, it'll stay in our binder. And so anytime they have, you know, an oops or an incident, then they have to put in their words what, they what their behavior was. We just feel like that's gonna be more powerful and it's gonna impact um, them more and hopefully lessen. Honestly, we have a great group of kids this year, but there's a few that are starting to slip up. And so uh, we think that this will work better. Um, that way, like conferences or whatever parent-teacher conferences are gonna look like, we can pull this up and say, well, in this class, on this date, and then the next day, um, this is what their behavior was and it's consistent. Or if we need to make a phone call, we can have this in front of us as well. So yeah, I'll probably put this on TPT soon. I'll make it a freebie. Um, sitting here eating some Fritos. Anybody else a savory person instead of sweets? Like if I had a snack or rather, eat chips than uh, like sweets. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love like cheesecake and cookies and stuff, but give me a bag of chips and we'll be best friends forever. walked outside and it was sprinkling that as as I was walking to my van I decided to pour I actually love rain I love rain I love thunderstorms but not when I look like a wet rat you know uh, but that's okay I'm heading home so it doesn't really matter uh, but yeah it was a good day uh, like I said before at the beginning of this vlog um, not all days are rainbows and butterflies. Last week was a very, very hard week. If it looks like I have everything together, I don't. Like I said, I just feel like I keep juggling all the things and life keeps <laughs> throwing things at me. And I'm like, you know, trying to keep, keep up and not drop, you know, the juggling, whatever people juggle with. I also told my mom the other day, like I felt like I was in the ocean and I just kept trying to get up for air and the wave just kept hitting me over and over and over again. And I felt like I was failing everybody and I felt like I couldn't do anything right and um, I felt like I was failing my students. I felt like I was failing my own children and my husband and I just feel torn and I like my plate is just breaking because it has so much on it. Like I'm sure you're feeling right now. You're not alone. We will get through this. This is temporary. Don't let it dim the light that you have because I was allowing it um, to dim my light. It, I, I could just feel myself closing in like a turtle and just, um, letting it get to me. And so, uh, God promised that we will go through stuff and by golly, 2020, we're going through stuff, but he also promised that he would never leave us. And so even though I felt like poop last week, I truly could feel the prayers of my friends and family. And I knew that God did not abandon me. Uh, it's life and we live in a broken world and 2020 sucks. 
But don't let it take your light. Don't let it dim your light. Know that you are not alone. I'm going through it too as it rains. This is how I felt last week. Um, but I'm also counting it as a blessing too because it also helped me to slow down and to take a step back and I needed that. So there are blessings in the storms as well. Um, I'm hearing that Kirk Franklin song. Anybody else love Kirk Franklin? I'm rambling now. I'm so, I need to get home to see my babies and thank you so much for coming along with me today. I hope it was useful, valuable, entertaining, but at least you feel like you're not alone. And uh, if you are not subscribed yet, join the fam and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can get some alerts on other videos coming out. Hit the like button so this can reach other teachers. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. As an Amazon affiliate and an affiliate of other companies, my videos and content may contain affiliate references and links. If you buy something through one of these links, you don't pay extra, but I will get a small commission. Thank you.